I'm sitting here shoveling rocks and dirt and debris out of the back of this shitty old pickup truck. <laughs> and something came to my mind I want to share with you. It comes to my mind a lot, actually. So think about if you're a grown ass man or you're any, any age and you're out there trying and you're grinding and you're hustling every single day to do everything you can to make ends meet, to expand your life, to expand your horizons, to expand your business, to be a better person. But for some reason, why do a lot of us feel like completely ashamed about where we're at all the time? Like it's never good enough, it's never enough. And then each next level you get at, it doesn't matter because it's it'll never ever ever be enough I guarantee you that there's guys out there with landscape companies that got five crews and they've got a shop and they got all this shit and inside they're constantly running on a treadmill it's not good enough man it's not off. <laughs> See attendant. Why my car keep doing it? I don't know why my bank card has not been working lately. That's only a certain gas pump, dude. All right, we're at the sod farm. We've got 60 pieces of sod on a pallet loaded. Uh, Bruce is getting it. They're putting it in the back of the F-150. They're just going to forklift it onto the pallet. And then I'm going to rent out oh, the Dingo. It's only a buck sixty per piece of sod. That's crazy. The nursery is charged like four to five dollars per piece. Yeah, this is cool. The Dingo machine is going to do everything. It's going to unload the sod from the truck and carry it to the job area. It's going to move the topsoil. It's going to move everything and the boulders. All right, we are at the rental center. I'm here to pick up a uh, dingo, the smaller one, the walk behind. Okay. Uh, you got a side yet? <clears throat> no, I'm about to right now. Okay, yeah, come on in. Okay, okay thing doing a stall. Good, how are you? Very well. All right, let me hit the road. I'm gonna drop that lift. Okay. He's getting a dingo. Oh, wow, wow. Sweet. So, Calpas Professional Service. Yep, Calpas. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I have a two-inch ball. I should. Yeah, Is that? That's good. Yeah. Yeah, we're back here. Okay. This thing is a fucking beast. That ain't no beast. You're like, I own a tractor that is like five times the size. For those of you watching. I don't know what is all in this fucking bullshit, man. Everybody's always comparing. Oh yeah? Well, I make $40,000 a minute. Look at this little, little friend. This is my little friend. Whoa, what is this? What is this? This is crazy. Inside, 242.19. Look at my signature. You ever spell your own damn name wrong? <laughs> a couple times over by the field stone pile he wants you to um put some aside i guess we're going to do a delivery yes, delivery of some it's called field stone not river rock what field stone yeah field what stone doing? what am i what do you mean what am i doing with that with what Oh, with them? What am I doing? Where? 
We're ha they're hanging out. They're, they're jumping in on the mix and seeing what's going on. Gotcha. Okay. She totally doesn't even get it yet. <laughs> See, we're B and W Landscape Supply, son. Now I gotta find some boulders. Mini boulders. Where are they? Let me at them. Let me at these boulders. Where are they? And those are too damn fucking big. Those are too damn big. delivery special delivery damn it I actually wanted the mulch on the other side but that's fine can you put it right here what oh I thought it was empty but ah Timmy Holmes delicious coffee oh me so this job is um 2300 bucks. There's three yards of mulch. <laughs> Wrong two. Uh, six yards of street topsoil, 60 pieces of sod. And we'll put some boulder stone in the back. We bang it all out in the day. Uh, maybe like, I don't know, a thousand bucks and 900 bucks. They're all expensive. These are like the perfect type of jobs that I like. Get it all done in one area, it's all easy stuff. So glad it was six yards I backed it down to four and that's that's a big fucking four yards of topsoil look at that that is not four yards of topsoil okay so if this is three yards of mulch okay so I guess that is four yards of topsoil I'm so glad dude I was about to order six all right we're taking the both truck and long cape supply to get river rock This river action, huh? but well, we found them in this other landscape of blizzard. No, those are flat. What is going on here? Maybe it's just those ones in that pile. If you go from this backside, we're on a mission. We got to find some river rock. So I did the math. We need 84 of them. That one's too small. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got like 34, 30% 30 there. This is off on a mission. Yeah, that's good. If 
What is this asshole doing videotaping? What is going on here? I don't understand. How do you know about this? How does he know about this demon magic? <laughs> now, do you know or do you know? You know? Oh, I know. I know everything. He says he knows everything. What's your name? My name is Michael, and I'm a psychic. I actually believe him. Are you real? <laughs> He's lying, see? He really is a psychic. He was with the reverse psychology. Fired up, man. We call this a stone party. We're all getting stoned. How about that? Sweet, much faster. I'm actually listening to Stefan Palerno's Project Life Mastery right now. All the sod within the machine. Moving all the rocks past the hill. I can't believe I ever debated myself on uh, renting out machines because I wanted to save money, but really that is so much faster and you make more money. So I'm getting that machine every chance I get. I like to buy one. get some lunch I usually split up and let the guys go where they want to go and I go where I want to go so I can you know I might have to run errands or not that they don't like to eat healthy I just try to eat healthy as much as I can because when I eat, you know fast food it just kills me they don't eat fast food they don't like it either but sometimes they're gonna make phone calls and blah blah, blah. this is Vince and Joe's market, I'll take them in here. So check out any like grocery stores or food markets in your area if you are trying to eat healthy. Like this place is really cool. It has like, you know, you can get salmon and roasted vegetables and fruits and you know, that's way better than eating McDonald's. Well, let's check this out. I mean, think about this. What if for lunch you just ate like raw fruits and vegetables? Imagine how you would feel if you did that a few days a week. Those tomatoes look so good, I think I'm just gonna grab one, yo. I'm gonna grab one, yo. What do we got here? You ever tried those kombucha things, man? They're so good, they got like, I think like natural probiotics in them. Here you go. I think I'm gonna get one. Ginger a divine grape. Trilogy. I don't even know the difference, son. Try this. That looks good. See, man, look at this. This is awesome. Watch. Oh, look at that salmon. Mm. We had that salmon the other day. Oh, <laughs> So good, dude. It's like eating like a flame and yawn. So good. And we only eat fish. Okay, so got my lunch. Sun. Oh, I need a fork. Excuse me. Sorry. Do you have a plastic fork? Okay. You need a plastic fork, man. You ever get food and then you sit there eating it with your fingers? Good, this salmon is delicious with a spaghetti salad. 
We got a tomato and a plum. There you go, roasted vegetables. Deliciousness. We got this thing, whatever this is. It's pretty good, but this is good, dude. It's a luxurious dinner. Yummy. Mac and cheese. Yes, yumbo. Yeah, but I put creamer in it. Hmm? I put creamer in it. Cool. Creamer and butter. Yumbo. Mickey. Mickey, you want a noodle? He's your good boy.